in both cases there's evidence of a multiple shooting. A very interesting thing is this, that they are <coughs> both small caliber weapons, but they are of different caliber. Now, what caliber, I'm uh, not the one to say, but anyway, these, they were shot by two different weapons. Uh, what about the small child? The small child was shot about three times in the right uh, uh, face, uh, actually. About pro all three projectiles went through, and it was shot twice through the chest, uh, causing massive hemorrhage uh, into, the, into the chest, and so <clears throat> It also shows evidence of multiple shootings. Now, these projectiles have not been recovered because they all went through. How long would you say the victims had been dead when uh, they were discovered? Well, uh, judging from the uh, uh, examination uh, of and the changes in the bodies, it uh, looks like something two, three, maybe four hours uh, in this vicinity. The problems that do exist are the problems of human nature. For example, the dial of us. There's just no question about the fact that the thing will work. We can dispatch vehicles from place to place, and there are all kinds of things that can be done. The real question is, will human nature be such as to permit people to uh, ride in groups of three or four in a vehicle together and pay about maybe one third or one half of what it costs to ride a cab in private? So the things that are unknown really have to do with human nature. They don't have to do with the technology as such. This isn't to say there are no technological problems, but the bigger problems are the human problems. The whole idea is that we think we have a marketable, usable airplane, even if it is prohibited from flying over uh, densely populated areas. Obviously, though, we would like it if it could fly over land, um, particularly not over big cities. Uh, the whole problem of the supersonic bang and boom, of course, is a very subjective one, and one doesn't really know. And as it does involve other nations, um, it's, um, it's one one obviously must look with care. And I think we just have to wait and see. Dr. Gross, what did your examination show of the three bodies beginning uh, with the 22-year-old? The 22-year-old uh, um, um, male had uh, evidence of multiple gunshot wounds of the head. Um, now, uh, we have recovered uh, three projectiles, and uh, two of the projectiles still uh, escaped. Now, uh, um, there was no evidence of any other uh, gunshot wounds, but it was at least, uh, at least four, uh, four sh shots going into the head. 
Now, uh, in this uh, 26 years old uh, uh, body, we found uh, uh, about three uh, uh, shots that uh, uh, went through the head, uh, uh, causing a massive uh, fracture of the skull. And in addition, there was also evidence of uh, uh, two projectiles that went through the chest. Uh, these projectiles have escaped. One has been recovered from the uh, chest, and uh, of course, uh, two uh, projectiles were recovered from the brain.